This is the part 10 of our series on how to write and format books with your smartphone. And today I want to teach you how to generate your table of contents. If you've been following us from part 1 to part 9, you would know that we have concluded everything you need to know about creating books with your smartphone from title to subtitle to headings to adding images removing backgrounds and adding table of contents for iphone users then this is the part where android users would learn how to use their smartphone to generate a table of contents automatically i also taught you how to identify where your chapters your introductions and your conclusions should be i also explained how you can add bonuses to your books now if you've seen the part one to part nine i believe you are now a professional writer or a professional smartphone book writer this is going to be the concluding part for those using android without wasting much time let's get right into it the first thing you want to do after you finished writing your book and saving it as word file the way i showed you in part nine if you've not seen part one to part nine you will not understand everything i'm saying here so i urge you to click on the link in the description down below to start watching the different parts from part one to part nine before you watch this part 10. so if you're an iphone user you might not really need this part 10 because everything i'll be explaining here is going to be for android users but you can still watch it maybe you will learn one or two things but if you're an iphone user from part one to part nine is all you need to start formatting books properly after saving the next thing you want to do is to open your google chrome browser after opening your chrome browser the first thing you need to do is to make sure that the email you used in writing the book on your google docs app is the email that is logged in on your google chrome so you simply click on this icon up here when you click on it you see where it will say manage your email i don't want to click on it because there are a lot of emails i have logged in there i don't want to be exposing those mails so when you click on it you see where it says manage your gmail accounts or manage your google accounts then you tap on it and log in the exact email you used in your google docs while writing your book once you do that you would automatically see that it has logged in after logging in you tap on these three dots at the top right corner here scroll down and select desktop site you must select desktop site so once you select desktop site it will display like this this is exactly what will be displaying the way it is displaying here everything you have in your google docs will be showing here like this the way it is showing with the book you just saved so you just tap on the book once you tap on it it will open like this as you can see this is the exact book we just finished writing but this time it's showing on a desktop site the next thing you want to do now is to locate where you want your table of contents to appear this is the space we've created for table of contents all you need to do is to click on insert after putting your cursor where you want your table of contents to start you can see this cursor blinking where i want my table of contents to start so you just click on insert once you click insert straight look straight down you will see table of contents tap on it and it will bring three options these three options the one that has blue the one that has color blue is the one that is to be used for your ebook or your kindle version because they are only links they are not supposed to have page numbers your ebook is not supposed to have page numbers that's why you have to use the option with links so let's quickly click that and this is our table of contents with links no page numbers in front of them okay this is how to use android phone to generate your table of contents if it was for iphone you don't need to do go through all this stress all you need to do is to generate a table of contents right there on the google docs app but for android phone you must use the web version of google docs to generate your table of contents so after you generate your table of contents 
all you need to do is to save and to save you click on file save as google docs as you can see our book has been saved successfully with table of contents can you see how beautiful this looks now let's try what i said about links let's click on chapter 3 and see if it will take us directly to where chapter 3 is on our book as you can see i just tapped on chapter 3 and it has taken me straight to chapter 3 this is the function of the links on google docs so you see our book looking very nice as you can see with the images everything looking sweet let us go back and do the one for paperback let's delete the table of contents if you want to do for your paperback or your hardcover version you click on insert again table of contents this time you will not be selecting the one with blue link you will choose the one without link so let's click on the first one as you can see this is our table of contents with the corresponding pages in front of the elements with this you cannot click it you can only look at the page and flip through to the chapter where the page appears or flip through to the page where the chapter appears i hope you understand this is for the paperback or the hardcover version because you cannot click on a link on a book that you are holding you can only click on a link on a device or on your smartphone these are the differences between the kindle version and the paperback version of your book so let's quickly save this again to have a better view of what our book looks like you click on file save as google docs as you can see our document has been saved look at the table of contents this time no matter how much i click it it's not going to take me to that page okay it's not going to take me to that page because a book that is in your hands cannot have links now let's go back to google docs on our app to see how everything looks we are back on google docs and this is what our book looks like as you can see the table of contents is there images everything still looks intact the next thing is to go and save our document you save it as a word file so that you'll be able to convert it to pdf you can upload the word file as your kindle which is your ebook version the word file the microsoft word file can be uploaded as your ebook version which is the kindle version when it's time to upload the kindle you use the normal one that you downloaded from here the word file that you saved but to upload paperback the only recognized format is pdf now i'm going to show you how to convert it to pdf tap the three dots at the top right corner then you select share and export you click send a copy once you click send a copy you will now save it as file or save it anywhere you want to save it on your phone just tap on save to files select where you want to save it and click on save our document has automatically been saved on our phone after saving it on our phone the next thing we want to do is to go back to our chrome browser open a new tab and search i love pdf.com i love pdf.com this is what the website looks like the next thing you want to do is to scroll down and search for word to pdf you know we've saved our documents as word on our google docs so now we want to convert that word file to pdf so you tap on word to pdf you click on select word file you try to locate where you saved that word file this is it i saved it on my phone and this is it so you just click on it as you can see immediately you click on it it will upload into the interface of i love pdf so you just click on convert to pdf as you can see it's converting and it is successful you can now download your pdf 
our pdf has been successfully downloaded to our mobile device so when it's time to upload the kindle version we'll use the word file that we saved from google docs but when it's time to upload the paperback or the hardcover we will use the pdf that we just downloaded now using i love pdf note that if you want to upload paperback version the number of pages your book must have is 25 and above if your book is less than 25 pages it is only eligible for kindle versions but if you want your book to be paperback it must be 25 pages and above as you can see this is the pdf version of our book that we just finished you see how this book looks very sweet man i'm in love with this book now this is how to format your book to meet amazon kdp standard readability is sweet if it is printed it will come out very very nice with images everything looking well arranged well formatted professionally written and arranged you see everything is there so keep scrolling down anybody that's going to be reading this book would definitely fall in love with this book if you tell them to click the link to check more of your books they'll be happy to do that this is the table we created as a bonus as you can see everything looking nice this book has 45 pages and it is good to go i hope that by now after watching part one to part ten you are a good smartphone book writer and a professional publisher thank you very much for watching this series don't forget to like share comment if you have any question and subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification icon so that the next time i post more videos you will be notified instantly by youtube the next series that i'm going to start uploading from tomorrow is how to design book covers for kindle and paperback with your phone it's going to be five different videos that will teach you everything about book cover creation and the same way you watch this 10 series and you are now a professional smartphone book writer i guarantee you that once you watch the five videos you also become a professional book cover designer thank you once again for watching i'll see you in the next video